I am lying here in my sofa and I'm resting. I just had an awful time. I had to break up a friendship and it absolutely sucks. This person, I'm not going to mention any names, he thought offensive stuff was fun stuff and he always made fun of others and mocked them and stuff and you know eventually he lost a lot of friends and I was one of those people who just decided to stick around because I was like yeah I know you don't actually mean it in that sense and stuff like that but he knew that I was sick he knew that I was sensitive especially to arguments and discussion and stuff like that but he still tried to pick a fight with me over random stuff. One time he sent me an article about something happening in Sweden that was very specific and I said sorry friend but that article is false. That's not at all how it's happening in Sweden. It's actually a positive thing not a negative thing. Whereupon he started flaming all the fake gamers and I had my best friend over you know her name. I showed her that because it happened it had happened so many times before and I was feeling I don't know what to do about this because he's being an asshole. And she read through what he was saying at the time. And she said, yeah, this guy, he just wants your attention, whether it be good or bad. So I put down my foot and I said, this is enough. I can't handle your bullshit. But if you don't stop arguing about this right now, I'm removing you. No, 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 we're totally friends and I'm sorry. And he still wanted to put in some pointers, but I mean this and I'm still writing this. And I was like, I don't care. You know, that's not what I want. This is not a friendship. This is just you taking my friendliness for granted. And that's like the first thing that happened. From now on, even if he complains to me or he says something mean about me, it will not even... He, it will not face me in the slightest. This is a decision I made myself. I told him that and I said no matter how much you speak to me, no much how no matter how much sorry, you spam me, I will not give you all the attention at all the times. And if I don't respond to you, then you're not allowed to be upset about it because I literally have a condition. I cannot give you the attention that you seek. Then go get someone else. And he said, sure, whatever. He still kept doing it. And the more he nagged, the more I pulled away. And he he will just refuse to realize this. And I actually told him this many times over in a friendly way, even. Not, you know, the, I, I've had enough of you. Nothing like that. I've never been, except for the times where I put my foot down. I've never t been negative towards him or s called him anything bad. I've never treated him bad. I've said so many years, I've been always been a bit of a doormat. That's just... People walk all over me. And it's really hard for me to say no. I, this is enough. Yesterday. I decided that I've had enough completely. And I actually, something I don't usually do, decided not to talk to him. I decided not to say anything about it. I just removed him. I felt bad about it. Absolutely. I felt fucking horrible. Not even gonna lie. And of course, I forgot to put to remove him on Facebook. And he contacted me and say, "Oh, I see." No, sorry. I'm not going to send him a condescending voice. He was probably really upset about it, but he said, "Oh, I see. We're not Skype friends anymore." <laughs> I expected more of a... No, he expected something more formal, that's what he said. Like, he, he expected me to give him an explanation of why I don't want to be friends with him anymore. And I, when I got that message, I wanted to scream, I wanted to flame him, I wanted to throw bricks in his face if only I would have been able to, but I decided to get over it. I ignored him. I removed him and I blocked him. Done. Out the window. It bothered me. To such an extent that I couldn't sleep yesterday. Not only because I felt I had treated him wrong, but also because I wanted I was so angry and I wanted revenge and fuck that dude. The worst part is that like I said, he's a good guy. Just either very confused or misunderstood. And so today I actually woke up and I felt a bit tired. As you can see, me rubbing my face constantly. And I said, you know what? Th that message he sent me was the main reason to why I can't be friends with him anymore. But now I'm feeling really, really bad. He sent me a text and I have deleted it now. But he said along the lines of, I am upset. I thought of you higher than this. And I thought you valued our friendship enough to 
give me a pure response where we could separate as at least understanding each other or as friends and I guess that that thought was misplaced that hurt if you're seeing this dude that hurt yeah thanks once again you've proven that that's the main reason to why I can't be friends with you anymore even now when you see me that I removed you instead where well, you had the chance to poke me on Facebook instead of using that tiny tiny chance to say I'm sorry for bothering you I know that you're feeling bad or I'm sorry that you feel this way or I understand or anything like that you could have said anything and you decide to go oh I guess you weren't the kind of person that I thought you were it doesn't work like that and personally attacking me through text that's the biggest mistake you've done. I removed your text. I have blocked you. You will not be in the slightest way connected to me in any sense, way, form, shape, anything anymore. You're out of my life. Realize this. <coughs> ah, such rage, much wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that you're gonna be happy about this because you have all said just remove him stop talking to him he's an ass and finally I go yeah yeah he was an ass I don't want to spend any more energy on that dude because it's no point anymore he's, he's gone he's, bye so now from the really sad boring horrible news a really awesome thing I really have to tell you about is I just got it is Dragon Ball Xenoverse, the Trunks Travel Edition. It's kind of like a collector's edition. It's not the pre-order version though. As you'll see, it is an amazing looking box. At the top, there's a, a Capsule Corp uh, logotype, which I thought was really, really cool. When I opened it up, uh, there was the actual game. And then obviously there was this other white box inside of this thing which was really, oh, I wonder what it is. And I open it up and there you see the actual star of this thing, which is a Trunks figurine, which I'm absolutely in love with. Ah! And first of all, I took out his bottom part, which was his legs. Oh my God, the coloring on this thing is amazing. Like, look at his boots. It's such a nice paint job. Even on like the belt was really, really detailed as well. You wouldn't believe it, but the entire thing is really, really heavy. And then we open the next one. Ta-da! Oh my god, I'm so excited. My camera didn't do it justice enough, but it had, like, once again, such a nice paint job and really good details. Like, it even had the blush underneath of the eyes. You can see his hair in the, his neck. Obviously, on the back, you can see his sword in very good detail. Well, the sheath. And obviously on the arm was his Capsule Corp logo. And here, of course, we have his sword. It looks like it was actual leather. It wasn't, obviously, but once again, good job. And ta-da! Entire figurine! It looks so good, and I'm so happy that I got it. Yay! <laughs> um, I'm absolutely in love with this thing, and I'm so proud of it. But yeah, I just wanted to show that to you. I'm so happy that I got it and it looks so freaking amazing and I'm so happy. And the fangirl inside of me is all like... So that part of the vlog won't be really edited, but I... 